Now, Ghana has a total of 16 confirmed COVID-19 cases, five more than the number of cases recorded 24 hours ago. The latest increase comes with a warning from the health minister, Kukaji Mamenu, that the number of confirmed cases is likely to shoot up in the coming days. He explains this is especially because health authorities are still treating hundreds of people who have come into contact with people who already have the virus so that tests will be performed on them. Sajima Menu dreads quite a number of these test results could come out positive and urge Ghanaians to take precautionary measures as the country's health system is still fragile. We have a number of over 600 people from interviews with them, those who have been tested positive. We keep on asking them who they had contacted, and I believe they might not even be able to give us the entire spectrum of people they might have met before we detected them to be positive. But for now, we seem to have got close to about 600 people that we are trying to trace to check on them whether they have already contact, I mean, contracted the disease. And I know the number will be more. So over the next few days and weeks, we are anticipating that we're going to have larger numbers of people who are already having the um, disease. The only thing that I can say now is the fact that we should all be listening to the guidelines and advice that is coming from our professionals and those who are flying our materials and all the radio stations and television stations and people who are discussing COVID-19 over the last three days, almost every day, we get a case. So going forward, we may begin to grow positive exponentially. And that is becoming a very dangerous situation for all of us. Our health system is still very fragile. Even those that have better systems, like China and the US, it's a calamity now. So we may not have a very large number of places that we should treat people. So that is not the area we should misbehave and get into because it will be disastrous for us. On the state of the COVID-19 patients currently under care, the health minister said all of them are responding to treatment. Um, as of yesterday, they were all very stable. Some of them, I would say, are even recovering. Um, there are two of them we are treating at home. You don't see any signs of them again. But we may need to do some other tests before we discharge them fully. But so far, we don't have anybody who is critically ill or severely ill. Illness is mild, but you see some of them, and it's like they are becoming very normal people. How far have we gone with the contact tracing? Contact tracing so far, we've done close to about 450 people, but we are still tracing. Anytime we test a positive, we begin to track, and we are adding on to the numbers. We, as of um, two days back, we had mapped up close to about 600, but we don't end there. We do some extrapolations and we're thinking that we're looking for potential about 1,000 people. So as the numbers grow, we add on to those that we are contacting. It is working somewhat, but we might not be very, very efficient in that respect. People are also coming voluntarily, you know, to try to give us their, I mean, contacts that they did. And I believe we are getting close to something. Yeah, but we also want to find out from you, how are we keeping track of 600 people that we've already traced? Um, those that we trace, we check on them. We ask questions, how long have you been in contact? So when we do the preliminary screening and the person is not showing any, um, how do I call it, um, signs of infection, we take him for a normal person and it's like we don't continue to do nothing with them. You know, but to keep on, because we have their numbers, we keep on calling and finding out their conditions and things like that. You said we are anticipating more cases. How well prepared are we? I don't want to be overconfident to tell you that we are well prepared. We are prepared somewhat to take challenges. But when you begin to get massive upset, you realize that your preparedness is nothing to write home about. Yes, like it's happening in Italy, it's happening in America, it's happening in the UK. So I will not use the word well, but we are prepared. These are some of the things. 
Let's get to the Ghana Health Service website now to look at how the cases uh, that have come in so far and what the situation is. So as we speak, we have 16 confirmed cases and this was the figure put out or updated on the website as at this morning, 9.45 GMT. And it's possible, as the health minister, you heard the health minister say, it is very possible that this figure could have gone up by now, except that the website has, has not been updated. Now let's look at the individual cases that we have and uh, who these people are. And if you go on the website, it tells you five new confirmed cases uh, on the 19th of March 2020. All five were reported from the Greater Accra region. Now, the first one, a 29-year-old Ghanaian lady, resident of Accra, no history of travel, sample confirmed positive in the laboratory. The second one, 34-year-old Ghanaian lady, resident of Accra, contact of a confirmed case at place of work, sample confirmed positive in the laboratory. 53-year-old Ghanaian male, resident of Tema, no history of travel, no evidence of close contact with confirmed case, sample confirmed positive in the laboratory. So it is significant that in these three cases that I have told you about or are, is on the website so far, all three cases that I've mentioned so far have no travel history, which in essence means that the got the virus or got infected locally or through local transmission. Now, the other cases, 41-year-old Ghanaian male arrived in Ghana by KLM on March 15, 2020, indicated exposure with family members in Amsterdam, exhibiting respiratory symptoms, and also on the flight with some passengers sneezing and coughing, sample confirmed positive in the library, in the laboratory, sorry. And then 36-year-old Ghanaian male, resident of Paris, France, date of arrival in Ghana unconfirmed, no evidence of contact with infected persons. So in these two last two instances, these people actually have a history of travel. And so they are looking at the possibility that they brought in the virus from wherever they were residing previously. So this brings to a total of 16 confirmed cases in Ghana with no deaths and then contract tracing has been initiated in all these confirmed cases. In a related